everybody and welcome back to a surprise mega movie mix. I hope that's what it's called because I just changed the name in the last video. And if you watched the last video you know that I was wearing this outfit towards the end. And basically what I'm going to do is it's kind of late from watching the last mega movie. Oh, I've changed the name again. I used to be called mega movie marathon mix anyway. And um, last time what happened was we picked out the movie at night and then, you know, there wasn't, you know, say now it's like 12 o'clock at night, um, you know, it's not it's always so much time to watch if it's a long movie and then like just watch it the next day. Uh, but it was just too much anticipation to wait for the next day, so this video is like a weird little span of time where well, it'll be changed and then it'll be daytime and then all the good stuff. But anyway, we're going to pick out the next surprise mega movie mix from the bag because it's just so much exciting picking out the movie, that's like the best bit really for me. That's my favourite bit of picking out the movie, and I even know what's in there, but I've forgotten. Anyway, so as usual, Josh is going to pick up the movie from the Mega Movie Marathon Mix bag. I, it, it'll change, but the title will just be the one that it is. Okay, and it is the Tigger bag, and I've still not wrapped them. And make sure you close your eyes. And I'll... Wait, wait, oh, there you go. They're still a bit jumbled. Oh, sorry. This isn't helpful, is it? Oh. There you go. Pick a good one. Pick wisely. Huh, funny, we were just talking about him. The Mexican. Okay, so, can we see? Oh, thank you so much. This movie has Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts in. And I love Julia Roberts, I've seen nearly all of her movies. But this movie doesn't have the best reviews. But, who doesn't like Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts? I don't know. I don't like Julia Roberts. <gasps> you don't like Julia Roberts? Why? Oh, this is just an abomination. Well... Who's the woman I hate? No, it's Sandra Bullock. Yeah, yeah I know, but she just reminds me of Sandra Bullock. No, she's Bullock. nothing like Sandra Bullock. Just, well, she does remind me. You have to just get over that, because Julia Roberts is dead good. She's in really good movies. Pretty Woman, Runaway Bride, Best Friend's Wedding, Erin Brockovich, Sleeping with the Enemy, uh, I Didn't Like Eat, Pray, Love. Let's scrap that she's one out. She's a pretty woman, isn't uh, Yeah. No, I don't mind it, uh, but she just reminds me. Let's more better Julia Roberts. And she's nothing like Sandra Bullock. Let's... I don't care. She's just... Seems don't know. She's nothing. She's, she's like literally the most unsandable person ever. She doesn't look anything like her. She's not no, even that like her. No, but she still just annoys me. Here, she, just, well, she, no, she annoys me in the same way as Sandra Bullock. But I despise Sandra Bullock. Mm. You've not put Sandra Bullock in there, have you? No, I don't think you put so. some stuff in it just to just to annoy me. <laughs> so I swear. Yeah, you but not put this one. Well, in. I don't know what it's about. Pass here. Is it's that? a comedy, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's a comedy. It it's got a gun on the front. It says it's a comedy. Well, anyway, I like Julie Roberts, so yay! So, yep, yeah, we are going to be watching The Mexican. I'm, I'm excited for it. I hope it's good, though. I want it to be good. And I'm a bit worried that it's not going to be, uh, I don't know, good. But I really, really, really like Julie Roberts. I've seen, like I say, nearly all of her movies. There's like a couple I haven't seen. Apart from I've tried to watch Eat, Pray, Love, like Eat, Pray, Love twice, and I just. I just don't enjoy it so much. And what else has she been in recently? To be fair, some of her recent movies aren't my favourite, but this one's from 2000, so... Uh, but yeah, I more prefer like her older stuff from like uh, late 80s and the 90s and stuff, but... Yeah, her newer stuff I enjoy, but I like her older stuff. And this is kind of, you know, in the middle there. It's from 2000, so... Well, that's what it says on the back. Maybe it lying to me. But anyway, yeah, so The Mexican. We will be watching this very shortly. Well... Tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's gonna change clothes and you'll be like, what is going on? But yeah, the Mexican. Okay, so <coughs> what did you think of the movie? Uh, to begin with, I did not want to watch it. Just wasn't feeling it tonight. I, I just, it just happened all too fast. And I just, I just didn't want to watch it. Um, getting into it a bit was hard because when you started watching it from the start it all kicked off I just didn't know what was going on, I didn't know where it was going, anything at all um, I mean it was just confusing you, I had to get it explained to me because I just I tuned out and eventually I got into it there's like a few different stories going on at the same time, it was another sort of you'll find out what's sort of going to happen eventually at the end, what's actually going on, because you just have to go with it. Julia Roberts didn't seem like Julia Roberts to me. She's been in other, obviously, in other films, she's in, yeah, just another Julia Roberts sort of char character. But with this one, she just, 
she was she was something I've not seen from her before. I mean, I was saying I don't really like her. She was quite good. It just reminded me of like another sort of like a Helena Bonham Carter sort of character that she would play. She was playing in a way. What did you give the movie out of five? Three. Oh, interesting. Three, three at least. Around a three. Um, but my favourite character was definitely. Um, what's his name again? I can't remember what his name was, but he's, he's Tony Soprano. Oh, his James name James Gandolfini. <laughs> um, obviously, not a main character, but he was by far my favourite character. He was my him. favourite too. It's supposed to be a comedy. In the middle it was funny, then it drifted off to not funny again. It just, I didn't find it funny. I didn't find it... That dog it, was funny. It, it was one of those films where they tried to make it too long. Was long. It was too long. What what it could have done with happening is it just, they tried to confuse it so much. They tried to have people coming in here, people coming in there, and then just all this just chaos going on. Whereas... At the end, they could have ended it just simple, you know what I mean? They could have had a nice ending, but no, they just wanted it to be a bit more action-y, you know what I mean? They just wanted more to happen. And it just, for me, it ruined the film. And I don't know. I'll, it was okay. Wouldn't watch it again. I mean, Brad Pitt just seemed like another Brad Pitt character. Mm -hmm. He just, when he was a bit, like, not in the films he's in today, but in those older films... He just seems the same in all of his films. The same sort of character going on from what's happening in this. He just... The same same guy over and over again. So, for, to, for me, it wasn't anything amazing. I mean, if you're bored, give it a look. But apart from that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out and buy it. <laughs> okay, guys, so we watched The Mexican with Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts and... Mm, I don't really know what I thought about it. I don't really think that I enjoyed it very much. So I think really I'd give it two stars. Um, which is kind of pretty, pretty poor. And that is because at the start, basically, there wasn't really any character building or past story. It was just I like jumped right into the story. And I was like, okay, okay. And then it was a bit confusing. So the first, like, 20 minutes, I was like, eh. But then the next, like, hour, it's a two-hour long movie. The next hour, I was kind of enjoying it. There was this guy who came into it. And I was kind of enjoying the story. I was enjoying Julie Roberts' this character. I thought it was kind of funny. There was this funny dog. And just great stuff and then oh, it just all started to go downhill it started to get more complicated and they started to try and change it and really they should just finish the movie but no and it kept going on and on and at one point like 10 minutes or 15 minutes left i was like i just just wanted to turn it off by the end point like i just didn't care anymore at the end i was like i don't bother but the middle i enjoyed i would have given it three or three and a half and then it just literally fell apart for me so i was like mm, no and it was just too long and i don't know i definitely wouldn't really recommend this one. If you want to watch any other the mega movie, no, surprise mega movie rifle mixes, nope, surprise mega movie mixes, that's it, um, then I, you know, I've enjoyed other ones more than this one. So overall the Mexican wasn't really too fantastic for either of us, but either way, thumbs up if you enjoy the surprise mega movie mix and I'm sure you'll be seeing more to come. And yeah, until then guys, I'll see you next time and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you then, goodbye! There's something on you!